Was this the worst time we will experience in this life expectancy? boys and girls and welcome to a new video I am Gianmarco and in today's video get ready because there will be something hallucinatory a few weeks ago I received in my Instagram DMs a message and no I am not talking about Ariana Grande unfortunately it is from a person who claims to be from the future a man who would come back from the distant future yes a time traveler Honestly, over the years, I've had so many claims come to me and this one particularly struck me. I said to myself, look, I absolutely want to know more, whether it's true, whether it's not true. It's such a curious story anyway, we better do it live. And so he's gonna come in a little while, we're gonna sit here, we're gonna converse, and I'm gonna ask you guys to try to put yourself in my shoes. I obviously won't be able to say it's false, it's true and all that. I want to create a kind of suspension of reality and try to say, okay, let's make a mental switch and try to think that everything he's going to tell is true. It will be very interesting to see what will happen. Come this way. Please have a seat and suffer here. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Gianmarco. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. I'm super glad we're doing this. You know, at one point I thought, Bo, I'm going back to the future now. He doesn't come anymore. He doesn't talk to me anymore. Not... I could miss. I could miss. I follow you very often. You do? You do? Sure. All your videos are part of my life. I don't believe it, but whatever. From this era. Ah, from this era? Okay. What year are you from then? 2360. 2369? Yes. So that's a lot of years compared to the reality that we have today and of your own free will. You made the decision to time travel evenimente to 2022? Ah. So in the meantime, I've been in this era for six months. Okay. I want to study myself and I chose this date because you are coming out of a period out of a somewhat particular biennium, which is the antecedent of what is to come in the next hundred. 100 years. That is what has happened in these last two. Years, and oh. Dania included. Will it change the course of history for a hundred years? In the next hundred years, sure. In Mali, good. In bad and in good, in the sense, man, as he has always been. Understood, known, both philosophically and economically, will not change. It will lead people to aggregate into smaller and smaller semi-groups. This means that the strong powers, a couple of decades, will take over. So with a kind of, let's call it the war, let's call it misunderstanding between states, then actually it will be a 50-year period of great revival. Okay, okay, we have to prepare, so what should we do? Then... And is this something that people can do normally in the future? I mean, can they do it so freely? There's a part of us that travels through time a lot, and I have to say, with my so-called colleagues, I'm not so much in touch because we decided to carve out different decades from each other. So, are you rich in the future? No, I don't. I mean, it's a rich person thing to travel through time. It almost seems to me like someone taking Oho for a week. Maybe one week. Actually, between now and the next hundred years, there's going to be a society in which the various states are already organizing to level out the people a little bit, so there is no one poor anymore. Not in the sense you currently mean in 222. Ah, no. wait. I have a question. Okay. In the future, do YouTubers still exist? Not through this device that you call a smartphone phone. Yes, it's a smartphone. No, because in the future, we communicate through telepathy. Okay. I know. We only use this device. Okay. Okay, I don't want to explain to you. And when you arrived, so you had studied Italian first? I mean, you had chosen to come to Italy? I prepared for about a year before I... Ah, a wow, year? As far sure. As in 300 years, the world just structurally changes so much because in this period, you know, there has been the climate change situation, one story, that other story, the oil running out. It's about the new forms of energy are innovative, revolutionary, and so they are forms of energy that are not terrestrial. 
I can't think about, I mean, the fact that you so many times ask questions, like you're almost trying to deflect me, not to tell me stuff because you don't want to tell me or because Definitely I don't. Definitely, I want to state because I don't want to reveal too many things to you that could maybe affect your psychological balance. I mean, which is already precarious, so look, you really do everybody a favor, but is there a risk that you could change the course of history by making some mistakes? I mean, you obviously coming to the future, you already know everything, and that's why I'm trying. I've been trying to live as much as possible for the past six months here in 2022, as secluded as possible, so as not to affect too much. You tell the whole thing to a camera in the meantime, though. Basically, true or not true, it is still such a curious thing that it is unique. I don't know if I'll ever get to talk to anyone again about the future. But you're not the only one, you know? Already Stephen Hawking in 2008 had even tried to organize a party for people from the future to witness the fact that we exist, we are there. And did anybody go? And then actually the party, nobody showed up. So Stephen Hawking organizes this party and everybody shows up and it's just you and him. You decide, however, not to say anything to anybody. Let's start from the beginning for a moment because I'm having a little difficulty understanding. So we have even now, in 2022, a structure that allows us to time travel? Theoretically, yes. How does time travel work? I mean, concretely, is there a machine where you go in? So, Mars will become really central in the search for the subsurface. Okay. This research will lead us to take advantage of new forms of energy that will give us the ability then to build machines that will not only help us in everyday life, but through the... In the... Fundamentals of traveling will not be initiated. My imagination is a machine is the one to travel through time. Look. Look, if I may, I also brought a piece for this interview. It is a rock extracted from Mars, and this is really the ABC of what future travel will be. It is a hard, translucent rock, as you see, and that will give just it? the possibility of finding new forms of energy, and it's really the basis of what interstellar travel will be. This is necessary for you to travel through time? Exactly. But what if I want to go with you and live on Mars? There are colonies, yes. A man goes to Mars out of necessity for personal pleasure for... No, also because Mars is semi-deserted. And only now through the colonies, we are trying to dig inside and understand what are the possibilities of developing iron. To develop its Especially careers. that it is found on Mars. And have you been there? Yes, I have. A couple of occasions have been there. But, however, I prefer my life. life. Have you had any encounters with other life forms? No, not yet. Not yet, not yet. But we are studying about it. What is the thing that surprised you the most when you arrived here? That surprised me in a positive way is the sunlight. The sunlight? Yes, that's right, the light. There is a lot, a lot of light. No, because you don't have the sun. We have the sun, however, after that 20 years I was telling you, deliterate. A decrease. Drastic. So couldn't you have gone a little bit further back a few years to tell us an attention there is pandemic? In the moments when you travel back in time and as an observer, as I do, the only task we are given is to observe and report, but we are not given... Uh, to change? You open a book and go back behind those pages, however. You cannot change history by writing it. I cannot. More. It is forbidden to me. Was this the worst period we will experience in this life expectancy? Absolutely not. 